21st at noon, a tragic scene on a Fort Lauderdale street. Two teens killed in a fiery crash. We've learned the two victims were students at Pinecrest School in Fort Lauderdale and were set to graduate this month. Now their families and friends are dealing with their tragic loss. CBS 4's Riel Creighton is live at the school with more. Riel. Well, Lauren and Mary Bell, I did speak briefly to one of the victim's families, Edgar Montserrat's father, by phone. As you can imagine, the pain for them right now is indescribable, but there is really utter devastation for this entire community. Ongoing final exams here at the school have been canceled, and there are more than a dozen counselors on hand here today. The school's president telling us that these were two popular seniors who were just two weeks away from graduation. These are their yearbook pictures, identified as 18 year olds Edgar Montserrat and Barrett Riley. This was the scene on Seabreeze Boulevard on Tuesday night. The Tesla Model S that they were in, unrecognizable, on fire. The two of them were trapped in the front seats, unable to get out. Their backseat passenger, identified as another 18 year old, Alexander Berry, survived but was ejected from the bad seat. A witness describing the flame so intense that no one could get to them to help. Police say their car was headed southbound on Seabreeze when it left the road, hit a concrete wall, and then burst into flames. Right now, unspeakable pain for three families, but we did talk to Barrett Riley's family earlier today. My nephew was uh, excited to go to Purdue next year. He was accepted and going to engineering school. He was a quiet, wonderful boy. He didn't smoke, he didn't drink, he, he studied, he looked forward to a, a great life as an engineer. And Barrett Riley from a prominent family here in Fort Lauderdale, one of seven kids. He was headed for Purdue. Uh, Edgar Montserrat, also a, a very promising student, was headed for Babson College. We understand police tell us that speed, they do believe, was a factor in the crash. We're live in Fort Lauderdale, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.